Eco cash behind spiraling prices of the basic commodities, said President Munangagwa. President Emerson Munangagwa has said the steep price hike for basic commodities experienced in the country in recent months was the creation of mobile money giant EcoCash. Addressing the Zano PF Provincial Executive in Beru on Saturday, the President said government authorities were forced to carry out intensive investigations to locate the source of the galloping inflation in Zimbabwe. We went through hardships where prices were going up every day and the exchange rate was flying, said Mnangagwa. We then set up a committee to look into the issue and we then discovered that there was up to 8.4 billion which was circulated outside the banking system, which money in financial terms is called phantom money. He added that the committee carried out investigations which led to the inspecting of the EcoCash servers. EcoCash, owned by the telecommunications mogul Strive Masiwa, is the largest mobile cash platform in Zimbabwe. We discovered that EcoCash was creating that and we were able to get to the servers and that is where we got to the root of the corruption, he said. We now discovered that in some situations, a single person who is renting a residential area never gainfully employed would be trading 8 or 6 million in a day. This person has never worked anyway and no one has ever complained of losing their monies before. In response to the cash crisis, Munangagwa said, we are now only allowing a maximum of 5,000 Zimbabwean dollar transaction per day. There was more non-official money outside the banking sector, which was driving inflation in the country. He also said the recent introduction of the foreign currency auction system had resulted in the stabilization of the Zimbabwean dollar against major currencies. Munangagwa also took time to praise his administration for performing beyond expectation and stabilizing the economy. This is despite growing internal and external calls for forms of intervention into the country's political and economic crisis. For a long time, this country never balanced its budget. We reached a stage where the budget constituted 90% or more on salaries, and we only had a 6% channel towards development. But inside 18 months, we have managed to reduce the budget deficit down to 4% in terms of revenue expenditure. We only use about 50% of the budget for salaries, while the other 50% is directed towards developmental projects. Because we have now balanced our budget, we now have a surplus of on a monthly basis and that surplus after paying salaries and internal commitments, we now have surplus to build dams and roads without borrowing. This is why we have introduced devolution, said Mnangagu.